you know, in over 40 years of living here, we've just observed that one party control of our government is not the most healthy or productive. You know, what happens when there's one party control is that people lose their voice and it's really political parties that are in control and a balanced government, right, where Republicans and Democrats have to come to the table as equals is really the best government because then neither can cater to their special interests and now both must compromise and work together in order to achieve results for people. You know, people feel very overburdened by taxes. Number two, people feel really stressed out about traffic. I mean, the congestion is getting out of hand and people are wondering why, why don't we have more immediate or incremental solutions to reducing traffic. Um, number three, more and more people are talking about the sphere of um, heroin injection sites being imposed in our district. Now, if I were Dino and had to vote on the McCleary agreement that was passed, I would have voted no, because I think as a legislature, they should have done more in order to find other exemptions to sunset, in addition to the sale on bottled water and extraction of fuels in order to make up that difference. But I do applaud the fiscal discipline that the Bipartisan Majority Coalition Caucus is showing. There are a lot of laws in our books that are just really outdated and need modernization. Um, one of those laws, I think, is the um, protection for senior citizens in property taxes. A lot of Asian Americans feel afraid to openly express their, their um, perspectives or views if they're a little bit more conservative. I've seen some of the ads and I've seen some of the hate mail that's being sent about me. And I think it, it's really sad that people assume that I'm a Republican, that I, I voted for the president. You know, I wrote in a candidate in the election because I felt that neither party and neither candidate fully represented my values. One of, one of the goals that I have if I'm elected this fall is to bring more transparency and accountability to Sound Transit and to the Transportation Coalition. Some of the ideas that people give me um, at the door are, you know, get rid of the tolls. They're not meeting their benchmarks. They have to go. When I think about a budget, right, um, I don't just automatically think we need more money. And I think that's the assumption that uh, my opponent and her party is making, that we need more money. When I think of a budget, um, it's a multi-step process. Step one is, are we being um, good stewards of the finances of the taxpayer money that we have already? And I think that isn't done quite often enough to examine whether or not the money we already have is being used in a wise way and it's producing the outcomes that the people want. Um, step number two, I think we need to acknowledge that there is new revenue coming into our state because our economy is booming and the population is growing. It doesn't work to say we need more money and not be held accountable to how the money is already being spent or not there being a plan for new money.